I started teaching in 1979. The first half of my career was exciting. I had opportunities to learn, grow, experiment, create. Although I had a rough start, I eventually became part of an innovative school where I felt respected and valued by my students, parents, colleagues, and principal. There, I got to use my brain, experiment, make mistakes, find solutions. In addition, I got guidance, encouragement, and support. I also struggled mightily, did a lot of crying, felt in over my head at times, and saw need, as well as opportunities, for improving schools and preparing teachers to do this really hard and exhilarating job of teaching children. Our students learned how to read and write, understand math, practice the scientific method, and think critically. They produced plays, wrote and illustrated books, painted murals, built model bridges, did in-depth studies of the natural world around them. They worked in internships in their community at places like a bicycle repair shop, a plumbing business, an architectural firm, learning about both work and their city. They learned to be peer mediators. They went camping and climbed mountains. They also learned how to work with each other, understanding and valuing the diversity of their community. They developed their voices to speak out about their beliefs and convictions. Our students did amazing things they hadn't believed they could possibly do. But undercurrents were threatening our vision of education. I was aware of them, but felt protected living and working in my bubble of progressive Cambridge, Massachusetts. Then came the MCAS exams. 